What's up guys, it's your host Video Games, and welcome to today's video. As you can see by the title and thumbnail of today's video, we're going to be talking about the recently released Avengers Endgame, and most importantly, why was Thor so weak in this movie? If it isn't 100% obvious, this is going to contain spoilers for the movie, like insane spoilers, so if you have not watched it, then do not watch this video. That being said, let's hop on into today's video. After watching the movie opening night this past Thursday, one thing that stood out to me, one thing that bothered me so much, I could not stop talking about to my brother, friends, co-workers, managers, strangers, basically anyone who would listen. I brought this up to them who have seen the movie. Thor was weak as fuck in this movie, man. Like, my guy was straight garbage. And I know Thor has gone through a lot. I'm going to talk about it more, but I just need to get that off my chest. So right off the bat, like first 15, 20 minutes of the movie, Thanos gets jumped by the Avengers and Thor yeets his head off. <laughs> And that's it, the movie's over at this point. Hell, even in the theater, some rando said that. <sighs> the Avengers are living in the post-Thanos world. The post-Thanos snapped away half of all living creatures' world, exactly like he said he would. And they're all dealing with it in different ways. Captain America started an AA group just so one of the directors could make a cameo. Black Widow decided to dye her hair different colors again. Uh, my guy Thor is out here drinking away his problems and playing Fortnite. I'm genuinely curious how much Fortnite had to pay for a cameo in this movie. Regardless, I'm not hating on Thor for this. He is going through a lot. He lost his mother, his father, his brother, his sister, his home Asgard, his best friend. A lot of his people who, if not got killed by the assault on Asgard or Thanos attacking his ship, then Thanos snapping them away. Thor is going through a lot mentally. He's obviously showing a lot of mental health issues, and someone who suffers from mental health issues myself, I sympathize with him a lot. He's experiencing anxiety, depression, PTSD, he is having panic attacks. He feels something responsible for what Thanos did. He could not stop him. He could not save everyone. He could not go for the head. We all understand this in him. This is a heavy burden for him to carry. And anyone would do the same thing. Turn the beer in Fortnite. So in the five year time skip, he did just this. He did not train. He did not hone his abilities as God. He drank and drank, trying to forget the past and his mistakes. Fast forward to the end of the film, where we have the spectacle of a fight Iron Man, Captain America, and Thor face down against the Mad Titan himself. And what happens? They get their shit beat. Their asses get rocked. And this is where the biggest problem is. In this moment, Thor is dual wielding both Mjolnir and Stormbreaker, two literal god weapons as they were forged for gods. In the events of Avengers Infinity War, Thor forged Stormbreaker strictly for the purpose of slaying Thanos. He forged it by taking a dying star to the body. A dying star to his body. And when he gets to Wakanda wielding said Stormbreaker, he bullies everyone. And I mean everyone. Thor's lightning was able to knock Thanos on his ass. And when Thanos retaliated and launched a blast at Thor from the gauntlet using all of the stones, Thor was able to throw Stormbreaker just to cut its way through the blast. He even severely damaged Thanos that was wielding the Infinity Gauntlet equipped with all six of the Infinity Stones. Fast forward to said fight scene of Endgame where the three take on a much weaker Thanos as he does not have the Infinity Gauntlet nor any of the Infinity Stones at this point and they get stomped on. They get pooped on. They get their titty squeezed and hung out to dry. We see when Captain America is seen as worthy of wielding Mjolnir, that his power increased significantly as he was capable of dealing massive damage to Thanos and resulting in him calling backup. So why was Captain America wielding only Mjolnir stronger than Thor wielding both Mjolnir and Stormbreaker? It makes no sense. Like mentioned previously, Thor has been going through a lot mentally and physically with his new beer gut, but is base Thanos so much significantly stronger than a Thor equipped with both Mjolnir and Stormbreaker? When the stronger Thanos equipped with the Infinity Gauntlet and all six Infinity Stones almost got killed by Thor with just Stormbreaker? Let me know if I'm the only one who thinks this in the comments below. I just can't get over it. We need an explanation. Other than we need the cool scene of all the Avengers and friends ganging up against Thanos and gang in the last massive fight scene. So if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for future amazing content. This has been your host, Games. Bye.